So, Caroline, thank you so much for helping me and for getting me to have courage to come out of my video shell, my closet. <clears throat> I wanted to share with you my um, Jaspers, some of them. So, I like Jaspers because they are very painterly. And um, there's so much variations in the Jasper family. And to me, they're very, very beautiful. I have a preference for certain kinds of Jaspers. And I'll share those with you now. So, <clears throat> so I got my little ones. And these, these are the polychrome Jaspers. And they, I got attracted to these, first of all, because of my galactic perspective, my planetary vision of things. And these always reminded me of flying over continents, somewhere in the distance of my memory, my past. Here's another one. <clears throat> it seems as though when you look at this, you're flying over oceans, and you're looking down at the earth and all her unique beauty and her patterning. And you can see these beautiful colorations. And what I find really fascinating is that <clears throat> in the earth, she takes photographs. She has memory for eternity, for as long as she's been in existence. And she has in her body, in these rocks, in these quartzes, and in the crust, and even in the depths of the earth, she takes pictures. She has mental imagery of everything she has seen, everything she experiences. And <clears throat> one thing I really, really like is that it takes someone to dig this out of the earth and polish it for us to discover that secret of hers. So that's why I like it. Hey, David. And then here's another one. Now that one... People call it Ocean Jasper by error. Um, it's actually a kind of, this one is a kind of Peninsula Jasper. And Peninsula Jasper is very rare um, because it doesn't, um, it, the mines have been dug out with this. But the colorations are beautiful. They range in pink to sandy beach colors, really pretty. And sometimes blues. And then back to... This is sort of a cross between that sandy beach color and polychrome, which we see the bolder golds and the dark colors, the big strong bold pattern shifts. So <clears throat> I like them, and I like them this size too because I can cuddle them. Put them in my pocket. Um, and then this one is really unusual in that it reminds me, this is Jasper, it reminds me of a Japanese painting. And how Mother Nature I think the artists in Japan and the Orient and all over the world, these ancient scroll art pieces, they got it from her first. This is Mother Earth painting pictures of what she sees. And I love it. It's so beautiful. It takes a, a person to find these treasures, polish them, and by some chance through our attractor patterns they to us and I feel like this is a little treasure from the earth. She painted this picture for me and I love it. I'm inspired by Mother Earth as the best art teacher. <clears throat> and then when I was at the desert in Arizona I picked up this piece and a whole group of others sitting on that table over there. This one is all desert, really beautiful. Um, I find it fascinating because I see myself in this there's me sitting, contemplating, amongst the desert background. And I'll tell you the truth, this is exactly the scene that happened in Arizona. The same landscape, the same sandy desert. I mean, it was amazing. This is like a photo snapshot put right on this rock. And so this is why I love Jasper. There's so many amazing things, miracles in this, just so much beauty. Here's another side. Isn't that pretty? It's beautiful. <clears throat> and then we get into some really sort of planetary looking. This is a Jasper egg. I love this piece. It's kind of heavy. But um, I actually had bought it for a client, a friend of mine client, and then I 
fell in love with it, so I couldn't sell it to him. But anyway, it's mine. Really pretty. It's got ocean colors in it and these little islands. It's like flying in a ship or a aircraft looking down at the ocean. So Mother has a Mother Earth has a perspective of herself too from the air. She sees. And then I have this little one. This is called a brachiated jasper. And there's a story to this and I'll share it with you sometime. But um, this this is amazing piece, and I'll explain on another video why this is so special to me. It's very cool. But anyway, look at all that. That is amazing. Look at that artist. Look what Mother Earth paints. I tell you, she's teaching me a lot. This is amazing. She's the best teacher. And then, um, so that's the little one, and then I have... This one, look at that. That's like a whole planet. It's a big planet. Look at that. Blah, blah, blah. This thing weighs a lot, but anyway, it's got all this brachiated patterns. It's beautiful. I love it, and I love planetary jaspers. I just, they ring a bell, and so that's why I like them. And so I wanted to share some of these with you. And they are like my buddies, my friends. They're very good. And so they give me a lot of um, inspiration and color. They add vibrancy to my house. And we love them. So I wanted to share some of those with you. Thank you. And I hope you like them. I'll see you later. Bye.